Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I will introduce you instructions uh, of Athelino regarding with functions and procedures. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I will introduce you the material that we will use for this uh, presentation and the specific instructions that we will work with. Then I will move into two specific exercises. One is for generating the an, uh, SOS uh, message using Morse code, uh, so we will implement uh, procedures for the dot and the dash. And then uh, I will introduce you uh, an example how to encrypt a message, so it will change uh, the, 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 the characters that we introduce in our message and uh, this is uh, to see how uh, a function works. So as usual in this presentation we will work with the Wemos D1 R32 board together with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. So these are the uh, instructions that we will work in this presentation. On the first one, this is uh, a procedure. A procedure is uh, a routine which we can call any time in our main code and we have to separate things. So this is the declaration of the function, so we have to uh, use this apart from the setup loop instruction, so it's, uh, it will be uh, uh, declared in a, in a separate section, as you will see, and uh, then this is to call the, the, the procedure, okay? So the difference between a procedure and a function is that a procedure does not return any argument, while a function, it does return an argument. The, whenever we click here on the, on the mutator icon, we can add more input arguments to either our procedures or functions and we can specify the type of uh, arguments too. And specifically for functions, we can indicate also the return type here that we want. So as you can see here, the difference between a procedure and a function is that a function returns, has a, here an output connector and returns a value, while the procedure does not return anything. So, uh, in this first example, uh, as I said, we are going to uh, code into Morse code, we are going to code the SOS message, so first I will simply just uh, introduce the dot function, so I have implemented the dot function in which I'm just simply, uh, depending on the uh, uh, an input argument I provide to the function, so I, I can generate as many dots as I want, and then this will generate very short beeps on the buzzer. So this is uh, how to uh, implement these short pips and the best time is a variable that I will define in my main loop. So this is, uh, this is the second uh, function or procedure uh, actually uh, that we will uh, use for our SOS uh, example in which we are implemented the dash uh, function. So it's exactly the same as the dot function but here it, the length or the duration is three times higher as you can see here. Then this is the actual SOS message, so in Morse code uh, the SOS message uh, corresponds to three dots, three dashes and three dots, and this is what I'm doing here, so I'm declaring the base time, so this will define the base duration for each uh, dot, so I'm just generating three dots here, then wait for some time, three dashes, wait for another time and then three dots again and I'm doing, I'm repeating this procedure every five seconds. In this second example, what I'm doing is I'm encrypting uh, a message, so actually what I'm doing is I'm reading uh, whenever I have uh, characters available on the serial buffer, I'm reading the string and pass this string into a function. This function will return a encrypted message and this is what I will print uh, on the console. So this uh, function here, uh, this is uh, basically what it's doing, is uh, declaring uh, an empty string, so this is uh, an empty string, and I will, uh, le let's say I will inspect each of the characters of the input string here, okay? So I will implement this in, in a while loop, so what I'm doing is basically in this, in this uh, encryption, what I'm doing is changing the letters of the of uh, the A is encoding to the Z, the B is encoding to Y, C is encoding to X, and so on, 
and obviously the x, x encoding into c, y is encoding into b and z is encoding into a. So this is actually what I'm doing here, so what I'm doing is getting the specific character at the position i of my string and then what I'm doing is I'm doing an operation which is basically doing this encryption so whenever I have here let's say a z I just simply subtracting the z with a z this is a zero and then I'm adding up uh, a zero as a number then I'm adding up an a as a character so it will return a character and print a character so whenever I introduce a z it will return an a and also on the contrary if I introduce an a this z minus a plus a will return a z too. Okay, so this is what I'm uh, just simply appending here on the output string and then this is what I do return here. So in this presentation I have introduced you how to use functions and procedures with Facilino. Thank you very much.